the overall goal is to actually read the Twitter if someone on Twitter mentions uh, at the Sahu we want to read that tweet um, so in our case Deb Sahu is our trigger word and we can use this trigger word in IFTTT if this then that uh, to write to a MQTT broker which is like a server um, and our ESP8266 can get this data from a broker and write it into a dot matrix display. So first step will be to configure IFTTT to read messages from Twitter and post it to Adafruit which is our MQTT server. Okay, you first need to go to this website io.adafruit.com sign in to your account go to feeds action create a new feed so in this case we will name it as twitter calls create okay so this is the MQTT topic that we need to subscribe to and it says no data available because we don't we haven't filled any data yet once this is done we need to go to IFTTT if this then that link your Twitter account here as well as Adafruit um, click on plus type in TWI Twitter there you go a mention of you click here so if someone mentions us in Twitter then click on plus type in Adafruit if you have already linked in linked Adafruit feeds into here all I have to just do is click this guy send data it already picks up Twitter calls. Did to save? You can just say username says on okay. It, you're done click on finish there you go if new mention of Deb Sahu then send data to Twitter calls feed so this guy is done let's first set up the Arduino IDE to connect to ESP8266 go to file preferences type in the URL below from the description over here go to tools board board manager go and type in ESP this thing should pop up um, maybe ESP8266 and install this should take somewhere around two to three minutes um, once this downloads and install it should be ready to go um, the blue bar would go all the way to the end and you can close this window right after that. Now let's set up the libraries that are required to run this code. So we need the Mac 7219 dot matrix library and the Adafruit MQTT library that needs installing. So you go to sketch, include library, manage libraries, once this loads type in adafruit underscore mqtt and then click on install I already have it installed that's why it says install over here and you can close this next we're going to look on how to install the libraries required to drive Mac 7219 
for the dot matrix display on our ESP 8266 uh, this is developed by Nick which is further refined by Andrea Spice on his github page you just click on clone and download and download the zip the zip saves on your uh, hard drive you can extract the zip and use this directory that says max 7219 dot matrix ESP put it in your libraries folder where you have your Arduino installed Okay, let's go over this code. It's just a mashup of two codes. The first code is the code that actually prints a certain scrolling text on the Mac 7219. And the second code is an Adafruit MQTT client that subscribes to a topic on MQTT. So we look into for the MQTT part. So you include the certain libraries, um, put in your Wi-Fi username and the Wi-Fi password over here, um, your Adafruit username and your Adafruit key that you would use to subscribe to a topic, um, cre create a Wi-Fi client and create an MTTT client that uses all these data that you input here to connect to the server and subscribe to a certain topic. In this case it says Twitter mention you can change this guy to Twitter calls. This is this, the feed that you're going to subscribe to. In this function all we're doing is reading the data from the MQTT server and putting into a character array message that just reads the latest data that is on this subscription feed. Remember that every time new data comes in the old data gets uh, erased and it overrides this message over here. In this function MQTT connect it just maintains the MQTT connection with the Adafruit. This is just a standard Adafruit reconnection protocol that it uses over here. In update display we have display smooth message so whatever character array message you pass into this function it just displays it on the screen and here we also have a timer check so every 30 seconds this timer check gets triggered and goes in, it's actually a boolean of uh, value that gets triggered and it goes and checks the MQTT message every 30 seconds to see if it has a new message and puts it on the display. Um, so you want to do this uh, at the end of uh, the message so that your message doesn't stop halfway through. So this if function just checks if the whole message has scrolled through your screen and it has also triggered the 30 second timeout in order to actually be able to go and check a certain message so you don't overload your internet connection every time your message keeps scrolling doesn't go and uh, check for the message at the MQTT server. Setup function the display is started over here you can set whatever intensity you want um, serial connection starts um, the MQTT server uh, needs connecting before that you turn on all the Wi-Fi with the appropriate um, username and password that you give up on top and you uh, turn off the inbuilt LED at the beginning so every time it checks it turns on the inbuilt LED so that you know that that's what it's doing just a visual indicator and over here we have uh, the loop connection so in the loop connection it goes in maintains MQTT connection this is the for loop uh, if uh, function where it checks for the 30 second timeout uh, for uh, checking your MQTT server and over here is what actually updates your display um, you might want to include the yield command in your sketch so that uh, it keeps maintaining the Wi-Fi while all of this is running in front um, and this just turns off the LED. So it's a very simple program that does um, subscribe to a topic and 
displayed on your screen. So before we upload the code, we need to connect the ESP8266 to our computer using this cable, um, the micro USB to USB cable. Now let's select the correct board before we upload. Go to Tools, Board, and select, in my case, a Vmos D1, and click on Upload. This takes a few minutes uh, once this is done. I'm not going to bore you through this. Uh, the green bar goes all the way to the end and it uploads onto my ESP8266. Now we look at the serial monitor, we see that ESP8266 is trying to connect to my Wi-Fi. It has an IP address. Now it's trying to connect to the Adafruit MQTT server. This might take a few seconds, uh, it might fail a few times, in this case it says connection failed. It's going to retry in 5 seconds. It retries, once it connects it gets a message. Um, so that message is going to be shown here, so it, right now it just got connected and that is our message. Now that you have your ESP8266 is already coded using your computer. We don't require the computer anymore. We're going to connect the dot matrix display into the ESP8266. So we connect CLK to D5, then DN to D7, and CS to D8. I have them labeled uh, as blue labels over there that I don't do any wrong connections. Then finally the VCC to 5 volts and ground to ground. And that's it. We are done with our connections. Uh, double check all our, your connections. All we have to do now is to reset the board just by disconnecting the USB cable and reconnecting. The display turns on completely. Uh, during this stage it's actually trying to do the Wi-Fi connection and the MQTT as we showed before. Once that's done it says no messages yet. Now it's trying to download from the MQTT server. Once that it's done it starts displaying. There you go. It keeps on doing that uh, until 30 seconds and it triggers the MQTT check every 30 seconds.